Imagine an ever-growing standard, a never-ending competition in the game, not just two, but how many. The elites of the electric fishing world not only battle to see who's the best fisherman, but who has the baddest boat out of Georgia. As Georgia continues to strive this way, the core grassroots movement here is strong. Who knows what it will be like the next time we come down, but we can give you a quick glimpse here and now. This is the dopest thing that I've ever created. It's the dopest boat on the entire... <laughs> What's up guys, Anthony Jones here with Brigade Boats, representing Tiny Boat Nation Outdoors, Tiny Boat Nation and the Tin Can Crew, hanging out with my buddy Kerry here. Recent build we did for Kerry using all of TV Nation's parts. Brigade Boats here in the state of Georgia, let's check it out. All right guys, we're gonna start with the inside and kind of work our way through the boat. This boat, of course, the first thing you're gonna see in it is the custom turf in this boat fully decked out i did all the decking we did two frame i made some modifications we did dual rod lockers a live well plenty of tackle storage extra storage battery storage and um, access for the trolling motor and grass he's got a cockpit he's got a core he's got a back storage hatch for the electric outboard and 48 volt lithium battery in the back of course he's got three graphs and two talons this boat was actually scanned by tiny boat nation outdoors southeast here in the state of georgia guys they do scans for custom turf. The boat was scanned and then the order was submitted to Southern Core Marine in Louisiana and they produced the turf. Tiny Boat Nation Outdoor Southeast can do scans and turf installs. I was already building the boat, so we did the install in-house. All of the graphs and the trolling motor was installed by Sonar Pros. The owner of this boat is good friends with Trent from Sonar Pros, so they did the electronics install as far as the graphs, trolling motor, and batteries are concerned. Here we've got a Tiny Boat Nation Outdoors recessed trolling motor motor tray inside of the lid got and under here we've got three 12 volt powerhouse lithiums powering that trolling motor a couple access panels here to get to wiring it's that's, hidden away not only is my customer a pain in the you know what <laughs> not only do we have to do the recessed trolling motor tray inside of this lid he also requested a seat pedestal base inside of this lid as you know in the state of georgia nothing comes easy in struggleville in this storage compartment, we've got a first aid kit and just extra storage. You can see inside of this lid, it's backed with quarter inch plate to give a lot of beef to this lid for that seat base. Plan that in advance. Of course, everything's got locking flush mounted T-handle latches also available up on the site. And then you can see all Tiny Boat Nation Outdoors lids come with anti-flood tracks and everything drains and water is directed underneath the floor underneath the subfloor and foam, to the bottom channels of the boat, to the back of the boat, to the bilge. All right guys, moving on. Here is where the customer puts all of his tackle. We did a long vertical lid here, pat channel to beef it up. And then here's a bunch of tackle, which you kind of can't see is we did use the tackle storage system available from Tiny Boat Nation Outdoors. These are all aluminum and they hold Plano 3700s or your favorite manufacturer's tackle trays perfectly. So he's got two of these so he could hold up to 10 tackle trays and then we let the front open for his containers. And then again on this lid you'll see for some of the bigger lids in this build we use struts um, for this lid and then for the rod locker lids I'm going to show you. I don't always strut lids but on the ones where it's necessary, we will do it. Directly in front of the tackle storage area, we've got that tournament live well here. Again, this is a Tiny Boat Nation Outdoors live well tub. We've got the Flowrite pump in, pump out aerator combo, all Flowrite drains, quick lock fittings, hose, and uh, their entire live well kit that's up on the site. The Flowrite premium kit is what we used in this boat. This live well is actually completely pour foamed around the uh the entire live well we used a pour foam kit so this thing is like a yeti definitely going to keep those fish nice and cool in the hot summer months and what you can't see guys is we did 
All of the hatches in this boat have LED lighting. Of course, it's during the day. The live well also has lights in it. Now for this build, I've got more, I joke around and say that I have more labor hours in these two rod lockers than most people may have in their entire builds. There's a lot of work, a lot of things that you don't see. These rod tubes are actually to accommodate up to nine foot rods. So they go all the way to the front of the boat. And not only do they go through this, but there's actually a framing chamber here with sheet aluminum and a framing chamber here. So each tube actually goes through three sets of chambers and then there's pour foam completely encapsulating them in place. So they're not going anywhere. Not only do we add some rigidity to the hole, but we added some flotation for the pour foam and they hold those tubes in. One of the cool things that I did that I hadn't seen done before is all the tubes were flush mounted into the aluminum instead of flared out and then hydro turfed over for just a super clean look. Of course, I did the hydro turf inside of all the compartments, but in this one, we did everything in hydro turf. And another cool thing I did was on this back wall, I framed in and fabbed up a rod butt holder system and just kind of did a wrap on that. And the top rods that you need access to just sit on the top and then the lower rods actually go into that holder. And on this side, you can see he did the fish roller into the turf, which is helpful. And this rod locker is completely identical to this other rod locker. You got 16 rods available. And honestly, if you're throwing bait casters, you can fit more than one into a tube without sleeves. It's really limitless how much stuff he could actually put in these two rod lockers. As you can see, he could even make use of the storage underneath with life jackets or extra tackle if he wanted to. I know, he's over here gotten rods. You guys can't throw mine because I'm left handed. Yeah, All right, moving on guys. Not only did we do a live well with pour foam around it, we also did a cooler and this thing is a massive cooler. Enough drinks or for him to put his fish away. It's got pour foam all the way around it. So it is also like a Yeti. Plenty of room in here for whatever you need to fit in there. That is a big cooler. It's massive, that's bigger than most live wells. Now, as you can see, this cooler was custom made for this project. When I had the framing in, we ordered the cooler and Nate actually tapered this back wall to the whole shape on the outside. And so these are available for custom order. If anybody's doing a build and you wanna add a custom cooler or live well, these can be custom made to your accommodations. The cooler, as you can see, there's a drain and uh, he could just drain that right outside that runs underneath the cooler to the outside of the boat. And the same thing with the live well. The live well drain runs underneath the cooler and the subfloor to the back of the boat or where the pump is. Inside the cockpit, this is an 18 footer and this is a smaller cockpit, but we wanted to make sure we were able to fit all the tackle storage, all the deck and all the rod locker. Inside this cockpit, of course, you've got your floor drains, you've got your quick plug for your battery charge, you got the electronics that I did in the boat which features this is all the electronics um, that are on board of course he's got his bilge nav deck lights cockpit lights rod locker lights live wheel core lights hatch lights and then his co-angler mute which is um, something that you're gonna need from time to time on them rough days of course we've got all the flow right equipment here for the live well as far as the valve on the pump and the time delay he's got a usb port and voltmeter and then of course the battery kill switch again lighting within the cockpit and then you've got that custom turf that not only goes from the deck down into the cockpit as well he's got another hds9 here in the cockpit for just uh, general graphing when he's actually operating the outboard. Of course, it's got sunshade and the ball's out uh, mount. Got another seat base here. Uh, the, all the seat bases we wrapped in the same wrap that we used on the switch panel and some of the accent pieces throughout the boat, like inside of the rod locker. In the back hatch, we've got the E-Propulsion 48 volt lithium battery. This is the biggest battery they offer of the E-Series. It's powering the E-Propulsion Evo. This is the 9.9 .9 horsepower equivalent, which is actually the biggest one E-Propulsion currently makes. Back here, you can see the feeds coming in. This is live well pump in and then the drain making its way back to that pump. Again, all the flow ride equipment in the back. He's got his quick disconnect for his outboard. He's got shutoffs. He's got his cable, his communication cable for the outboard. Over here, Sonar Pros did all of this. We got another uh, powerhouse lithium battery. This is for all the onboard electronics, shutoff switches, and then all their wiring harnesses that they tabbed in that do all the electronics within the boat. 
and then we've got a bilge pump and that pretty much wraps everything up again we've got led lighting and hydro turf in the back and of course everything was painted throughout all right guys carrie's over there fishing and he doesn't want to talk about the wrap so i'll tell you what i know about it the cool thing about this boat or i guess the most intense thing about it that you probably wouldn't see just by looking at it is that this boat was actually wrapped twice so first they did a really really pearl white wrap just a pearl white wrap solid the whole boat and then this fish scale pattern that's got these graphics all over it that is actually a clear film with just the color printed on it and what happens is when they put that clear film over that pearl white base the pearl white actually shines through the clear coat and then kind of gives you this translucent effect at least that's how they did it um, as you can see, the main sponsor of this boat is Test Tackles. Not, not sure what's up with that, but test, testicle, Test Tackles is there. <laughs> and then, of course, everybody that's a part of the project, of course, is on the roll call from Angler Armor, which is the wrap company that 400 Inc. owns, Brigade Boats, Sonar Pros, PJ Wraps, Southern Core Marine, and Tiny Boat Nation Outdoors. A couple talons, probably overkill for electric only reservoirs, but when you put Test Tackles on your boat, I guess this is how you roll. Hey guys, thank you for watching this. Long time coming. You know, Anthony and I have been grinding for a minute, for years now. Anthony came out of nowhere one time and just posted an insane, like, live well slash chill mod, like, remake. And that's how the first time we saw him on Facebook, kind of like how we saw Nate. And then ever since then, we've been corresponding back and forth. And eventually, he kind of, you know, we started working together. And now look what he did. This is the best one he's ever did. So now, when I have to do one, it's going to be seriously hard <laughs> to beat this. He's up in everybody's level. He's raising the, he raised the bar very, very high. Did it out of his garage at his home, and so can you. Uh, all the parts that he, he described, they'll all be in the description below if you need to links to find out any of those things, including parts from our site and parts from the affiliates. There's a lot of people that actually go into this, including Kerry, who's not here, to talk about his rep um, because he's fishing. But we also have rep tutorials that he's done and the stuff he uses. He's wrapped our trucks, he's wrapped boats, his boat, a bunch of boats. All the stuff you saw at the TUC, the electric championships. And so the electric game here is is legit. Right. Well, thank you guys, long time coming. Finally got to collab with Anthony, like actually had time, not we're just rushing around, building a boat like crazy people. If you guys subscribe to his channel, Anthony Jones. It's in the description, it's also in the title. Grab onto his handle and, and click on it and check it out. I gotta see you guys later. Yeah, thanks guys.